Hey everybody, um, welcome to Alamy Farm, Alamany Farm, I guess. And yo, yeah. Are you here to volunteer today? Yes. Hi. My name is Will. Nice to meet you. I'm Lawrence. Lawrence, awesome. Did Elliot, by any chance, from SF State, ask you to come volunteer today? Awesome. Great. So you guys are going to be helping us move some wood chips. Okay. That's fantastic. Wood chips. So. Yeah, that's the that's the main task that um, Elliot, the group that Elliot brought out, wants to accomplish today. Okay. Um, but yeah, if it, is this your first time to the farm? No, it's my second time. Okay. In seven years. Oh, nice. Well, thanks for coming back. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want to sign uh, sign up on the sign in sheet, um, make a little name tag. You can do that. Um, yeah, um, so if you if you want to do wood chips with me, I'm going to start of, uh, start getting that project together. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. Man, what's all that good stuff in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be back soon. Well, it's been roughly um, over two hours and 20 minutes since I came, since just arrived. <laughs> now, the harvesters were, were getting, were taking care of the vegetables. The veg, <laughs> you know, the veggie master rice are being, are being quelled by the harvesters. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, you know, it's really fun. You get this. I get to see the huge change compared to seven years ago. Last I went was uh, sp spring 2010 or fall 2009 or something. I don't remember. It's been years. <laughs> it's been a while since I don't remember exactly how I got it there. I mean, there's um. A lot of nice places to walk around. It's a lot more diverse compared to when I first came here. Cause that's, I guess I uh, my dad dropped me off around the St. Mary's playground and then walked down. And the first memory I remember after I came, I I'm finished doing volunteering is there was this uh, possum. A possum was laying around playing dead <laughs> it was like it was very funny my dad oh that that they did it was uh playing dead or something yeah so i there's a lot more um diversity of vegetables plants compared to what it was i kept on saying that there's an um compost pin <laughs> here let me get around the place, so I get to do. Yeah, this is a compost pin, and it's really thick. This is a vegetable called called Kyle. Don't know if you can see it, but pause the video if you know what it is. It is um, an interesting vegetable. It is. Um, it's interesting. They put up a little summary about the uh, what 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 type of vegetable is this, <laughs> and all. And this is a demonitor. It will measure the amount how how much how much heat it needed to turn a plant matter into soil. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> so it's a um, little... Um, so that one is... Um, this is uh, some kind of a plastic. So it's more like a disease, a farm. Um, 
fungus is like a, a very more harmful plant uh, fungus that kills a lot of crops, so they don't want that. <laughs> it's kind of cool, man. Don't know if I don't know if I can walk around to it safely. These are peppers. Yeah, love peppers. These peppers are cool. It's on Spanish and Chinese, so you can see it around the place. Ugh. We just got over the weeds, go over the garden. Oh, this appears to be a wetland. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a marsh. You can see how you can see the beautiful things around. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but my goodness, I haven't explored that part of the area before. But because I was a young teenage teenager, about to become a young adult, <laughs> that I wasn't. I didn't quite notice it till now. Now, you, I noticed that it's more like the floodplains. It it went up and down, so you might see ecosystem like that. Yeah, it it is thick. It's much thicker than I remember last year. Uh, seven years ago, I'm. Keep in mind, I will. That's a lot. I don't know, um, everybody. It's called Al Alamini Farm. <laughs> I'll keep. I'll keep butchering it for some reason. Yeah, and there are a lot of birds. Cool birds around. Or some blackberries. Yeah. Some of them are growing quite. These are like Himalayan ones, so. They're a lot thicker than the actual California ones. <laughs> Alright, and then this is uh. That's where I go into. And temporarily and um, halt my travels because I'm like, this is kind of a interesting. Uh, I really should have kept my uh, things going. Overall. It is better as a farm garden type than at a pile of junk. <laughs> That's my my. Hmm. And some oranges <laughs> or tangerines, I. Presumed tangerines because they're a lot smaller than oranges, but they're just as good. <laughs> Believe me, it's a sister's family for sure. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right. So, anyone noticed? Uh, if everyone who who came to um, to this place around over a decade ago? You might notice a huge change. I might as well. This is the the video that I was gonna make about this um, lovely farm for and for the first time. Though it was 
my first time around here for like seven years. I kept on saying it. So. Oh boy. So we're already done with the. I'm already. So the volunteers already finished weeding away the, the, the big stubborn ones. And we planted up little, little, little baby, baby broccolis. <laughs> And um, and they're so young. So if you killed it, if you try to rip it as like normal, you kill it. So yep, this is it. This is where it's located at. It's at St. Mary's Recreation Center. If you if you go there, you know where where in the world you're talking about. So this is a map that was made. It wasn't there when I first came here. So this was, uh, it looks more like a recent, a fairly recent one. I don't know if there's strawberries that are growing around. That wouldn't, I don't think it was there a long time ago. Overall, Let's see around here I can say this. Hmm. Oh yeah, that. This is um, the wetland marsh that I was going to show you. Oh, I don't know if you can see dragonflies or other insects flying around, but there's some lilies, <laughs> at least. And it's kind of thick, unfortunately. So you're not going to see as much. To anyone that works around this place, you probably find it a little difficult to, uh, to see all those little, little insects all at once because they're all over the place. <laughs> so that right here is a marsh where you basically like haul, haul it in a wheelbarrow with a pitcher fork and you bring that one over here and that's basically it. You, 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 you pour it down. Maybe I should go back to doing volunteering, but I'm uh, doing it. This is a good straw. Oh dear. Ugh. Ah. Well. Okay, I'm walking down. You see these little beans, they're called, um, yeah, they call little beans. <laughs> they're pretty edible if you want to try it. This is broccoli. <laughs> It'll tell you information, a little bit of information about it. So, their purse snap, purse snip. It's they they were used as little sweeteners for um, jelly and cakes. <laughs> it's. That was before sugar plantations, they, you know, with all the slavery, all that stuff going around. These little plants, I couldn't, I couldn't tell because they haven't put any signs. So, yeah. 
pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. This is my, these little baby plants in rows. These will eventually grow up to be big, big ones at the nest season or so. What am I gonna get out? Yep. Yeah. I should pull my pant. Hold on. There. All right. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh. Anyways, there's a little garden, <laughs> a little storage for the plants. You see this? You... This will tell you a little bit of a little workshops, a little harvest festival tomorrow. So you get to see its glory. Oh, wait. Yeah. I don't know why that was for here. Oh, there's a sign. This one will tell you a little bit. A monarch butterfly, the swallowtail, western garden snake, alligator lizard, honeybees, bumblebees, ladybugs. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Gonna clean that nasty gunk. Hummingbird annas, raccoon coyotes. Western scrub jay, American crow, red tailed hog. We always see that a lot. The mockingbird, robin, and a great blue heron. My, I love that one. So, this would tell you a little bit of information. Just a brief summary. I'm not gonna go into any details because that one's a little thick. Or well, figure my 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 opinion. So these are lovely plants. <laughs> Again, if you wanted to go see the Bernal Heist, go to that um, go to this map around near St. Mary's Park. It'll tell you. Well. It's a big, it's a big haul, so, well, I think I like, I like a little bit about the, it, for some reason, when I came back here, I feel like I just forgot about the stress, the feelings, um, the worries about what am I supposed to do this semester and all that stuff. Uh, it's just I just like focus on doing what I need to do in this garden and like just make it a a, a, a lovely place for the whole community to go and get some veggies and fruits and look at the birds, insects. No, oh, funny story. I want to. I was gonna tell you um, right now. I found a. <laughs> I thought it was a mole cricket, right? So I just yank it out. As soon as I remove that uh, that stubborn weed, and I give it to um, one of the one of the uh, senior students and who was a major at RPT and said, yeah, it's a potato bug, it's a pest. So he just tossed it out like, yoink. <laughs> it's just smacking the wrong wall. <laughs> it's all gone. Things all gone. So anyways, I, I've already seen enough. I think mostly I've already seen enough and I think I'm gonna end this video and I'll catch you later. And peace out, y'all.